Yeah. The first time I met, um, the first time I met Ray Barbie, um, I think it was at this contest at the velodrome. I, I was aware of him. Mm-hmm. He'd just gotten on the Pal Peralta team and, you know, it was like already here they come, man. They're just, <laughs> my career was in jeopardy from the start. <laughs> and uh, the first time I met him, uh, I said, uh, we were talking about tricks. And I was like, yeah, man, I got, I, I, as far as I know, I mean, it's like, you start talking about who did what first, it's, mm-hmm. you know, who knows really so many sure. rad people are doing rad things all at the same time. But I, as far as I knew at the time, I was the only person or the first person to do a kickflip into a wall ride. Mm. And I told him, I was like, yeah, we were talking about tricks. I was like, I'll kickflip wall ride. And I started trying to do it to show him. And he, and he's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I can do that. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he rode up and he did it. And it was so smooth. And I did it too, but it was so like barbaric <laughs> you know it's like my hand smacked the wall the board hit hard i just pushed it down and rode away and he's just like Bleep. wow you know? yeah like, wow. it's different oh, styles man. though imagine if you were your whole career you were just this finesse skater you know uh, just yeah, finesse. I, like, I mean hey i'm i like my style of i skating. love your style yeah. bro yeah. Like, like, i pursued that style That's, i mean maybe I, some of it is just whatever but i that's what i chose to to do and the way i skated was real to me absolutely but i was in awe of ray you know i was just in total awe he just had this it's beautiful to watch man. yeah you know yeah two up op- it's like opposites right it's like uh man, ray Barbie. Dude, i couldn't imagine how cool that would be to meet someone and like all you do is talk, talk about new tricks because that was what's coming out around back then nowadays when kids meet each other, they're not talking about new tricks. Because all the tricks have been done, basically. Oh man! So, Kelly, <laughs> Kelly, I I'm so so grateful for the time I grew up skating. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so cool, dude. Like, and I was right there for all. I dude, I saw the first, I saw the first handrails. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I saw the first. I saw Mark Gonzalez fifty fifty. The first fifty fifty on a handrail. I was there. He made me do it after he did it. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I was terrified. I love <laughs> so that. Sick, dude. That's so cool. The first, time, the first time he 50 50 the handrail, he over, he like went over. Like, you know, like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The truck slipped yeah. over. Yeah. And, and um, I had already done that on, on other rails, not going downstairs, sure. but I'd already like, oh, like gone to 50 50 a, 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 a rail and gone over it. And I was just, I couldn't imagine doing that over stairs. You know, I was terrified. So he 50 50s this rail in New York City. He came to New York City, scouted out all these different rails, found the one he thought would be perfect to 50-50. He does it. First time ever done. I don't think there was a camera there. You know? <laughs> it's just like, you guys there? He's so crazy. Me, Felix Arguez, Coco Santiago, a bunch of other New York, New Jersey skaters, whoever was invited to hang. Um, so he 50-50s the rail. And then he says, you got to do it, Mike. You got to do it. You got to be the second person that's ever 50-50 the hand rail. <laughs> Like a real, maybe this had already happened at a contest, but like a real handrail in the streets. Yeah. Know? And uh, I was like, all right, I'm going to do it. But I kept coming up to the rail. I'd come, I'd come at the side and be visualizing getting on it. And I kept seeing, because his first attempt, he over, he, dude, he ate it, man. I was like, I don't want to fall like that. I don't want to fall like that. Right. So when I really decided I was going to do it, I came from behind the rail and I ollied over the back of the rail. Oh, wow. You're the sh- so high. Like, I was just like, brr, I took off. Like, brr. I like landed on top of it and I grinded down the rail. Wow. And um, I mean, I never did that after that. But it know? makes sense of why you would do that because you're going straight. You're not having yeah. this angle where you could flip. Wait, right? dude. But the, the rail, the, the back of the rail was really higher than any of us could ollie at that time. But yeah, I but did. whenever you're going over something, it, you're, you're going to, you Wait, know, dude, you're going to get over it. You're right? telling me that the first time I 50-50 was on the rail, Mark Gonzalez did like, it was a front side 50-50 on it. Is that what you're saying? And then you went and after it, just straight on 50-50. Cause that like, that is way gnarlier, dude. Yeah, <laughs> and remember guys, we did this on cruiser boards. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's so awesome to hear because that's like, that that kind of later on that kind of became a trend in skateboarding is going the straight oh, on 
fifty fifties, and like then Abe took it to another level, doing right. switch five O's and stuff yeah, like right. that. I didn't do it to put a variation on the trick. I was just scared. You were scared. no, but that makes sense though. You going straight over, you're not going to slip off. You're going to be right centered over it, correct? Right. Yeah. yeah. And then when I tried to do it the second time, I locked up. So uh, <laughs> oh, wait, how how many stairs is this? I was pro. It's like only like like maybe four okay yeah. i was gonna say four or five yeah now what do they say a big five it's huge <laughs> no huge huge five. that's so cool man that's that incredible that's awesome and i mean i mean i could tell you so many more stories like that that's I mean, why you're real. coming back that's the or, essence or, of pushing or, each other though too that's like the essence of pushing each other you know mm -hmm. he's like just try it with me you know like let's do this together you know yeah and he did oh, it his was. way and you did it your way so no it was yeah. um not as coppice mark gonzalez myself um Legends. julian stranger skated with us a lot back then yes uh, i mean it was every day was exploration you know we were what's possible what's possible Isn't that that's cool? what led that's what led to the barnyard board was the boards we were skating were directional they had a nose and a tail you... but our skating became you know didn't have a direction we were going both ways Mm. Um, I may have said this on the on my nine club mm -hmm. appearance, but at one point I drilled the nose of my board back. Yeah. Stacy crawled to pick my board up, and he's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and I was like, "I need a bigger nose, man." Like, <laughs> I ollie off the nose. <laughs> you know? He's like, "You what?" That's so cool. That's great. Mm. I mean, imagine be, dude, just to. Like you said, to go around and skate and wonder what's possible and what's not yeah. is like is mind blowing yeah. to me. I, when yeah. I was on last time, do you guys remember if I talked about the um, contest in Arizona? Is that the uh, contest with which which one are you referring to? I spent a week in Arizona with Jason Lee and Mark Gonzalez, and they were looking for you. No, that was a different one. Lance Mountain uh, was looking for you. Yeah, no, we, we, we spent a, there was an amateur contest one weekend and a pro contest the next weekend. Okay. Phoenix. And this was like, uh, I guess this would be like the autumn of 88. Um, so we got there, we, we went to the amateur contest and we spectated it and we stayed in Arizona that week and we stayed until the pro contest mm -hmm. and then we stayed in that. And that week, we would sleep all day. We stayed at this embassy suites. We'd sleep all day. And in the evenings we'd get up, eat something. And then we would skate all night till the sun came up. Me, Mark and Jason. And what we were doing was absolutely exploring possibilities. Crazy. Stuff hadn't been done yet. It hadn't been done. Were you guys we were filming too, or just, just you three and that's it. We had friends with, we had a couple other friends. Mm -hmm. Um, that weren't, you know, pros. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Um, they're just, you know, it was just, uh, it was this really special, special time. Fuck yes. um, and wow. something I always think back to, I mean, if I ever, whenever I'm in Phoenix, I always think about it. Um, but I always think about like just that kind of, that kind of skating when it was, it was still uncharted, you know, <sighs> discovering. What, I was on tour with Jason Lee in 1989, and we we did demos every day. And then every night we get to the hotel and we'd skate all night, me and him, in the parking lot. And the manual tricks and the combinations that he was coming up with, mm -hmm. you know, flip in. Yeah. Now it's flip in, flip out, and ten things in between. Sure. <laughs> but just flip in, man. Like, yeah, this dude. was. I was, I saw it all advance, you know, Crazy. and, 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 and some, sometimes in some ways I participated in, you know, I wonder, that's, that's been crazy. That's, I wonder what, like, what was your guys' inspiration back then when learning new things, when you didn't even know what was possible, you know what I mean? Is it just creativity and. Yeah, it was, it was a definitely a more of a, a creative kind of a thing. It was, um, I mean, we, we thought of ourselves as artists, we surrounded ourselves with art our inspiration came from you know music and films and whatever you know yes yeah. well, uh, just, just yeah you start absorbing art then you create art mm, you know yeah, totally and that's how we looked at it i mean you know 
we did not, none of us thought of skateboarding as athletics or that we were athletes. You know? Yeah. Mark Gonzalez, every single fiber in him is art. Everything mm-hmm. he does is art. The way he lives his life is art. The way he walks and talks and carries himself is art. So when you're around somebody like that, there he's your friend and you're skating with him, you can't help. But I mean, you know, his throwaways are genius. You know, <laughs> yeah. He, he stuff he's abandoned and you can make a whole career out of that. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's so cool because when I grew up skating, like you were a pro and like there were so many people before me that I could get ideas from, you know what I mean? Like tricks that were possible. Mm -hmm. And imagine being, I couldn't imagine being at a time where you were the people to start really, you had a little bit of inspiration, maybe of tricks before you, but you got to take it to that next level. Like what it really, what it really came down to Kelly was environment. Mm -hmm. You know, it was out there to be redefined. And yeah, we were the generation that redefined it. Um, you know, like hand handrails are like that's you're supposed to do that. You know, yeah. Now. Right. Like if you watch the do tour, almost every single trick in street was on a rail. Mm-hmm. Those handrails and those stairs were there for a long time, and no one utilized them in that way. And street skating came along, and we breathed life into these inanimate objects. And uh, you know. I mean, I, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy to have yeah. that and done that stuff. And um, it's real special. I love it. Definitely. Man. Well, thank you for opening the eyes for everyone else, dude. Like, you know what I mean? Creativity back then. Yeah. That's look what it's got. Look what it's gone to I now. Dude. What did you do, Mike? Look what you look, did. Look what you did. Look what you did. Yeah. Unbelievable. You know what, man? I feel like a proud dad. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, I, I love mean, it, bro. That's special, man. Hell yeah. Not thank, that many people. Thank you, bro. Shit. No, that's that what I'm saying. Thank, thank you, that, dude. That's so, man, that's crazy. Damn. You know, I, lucky to, uh, lucky to have run in the circles I ran in mm. and get people have to take me under their wing and allow me to be a part of it. And, and then, uh, I had a sincere desire to do something real with those opportunities. And mm-hmm. I love skating so much. I just wanted to, to promote it and help popularize it in, in the most positive sense, which I'm probably repeating stuff I said before, Dude, but all good. My heart, you know, yeah. legend, bro. Uh, Where is that like button? Right. Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's, it's subscribe over to, yeah, it's on your it's on my left. Right? It's no, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the, in the right middle there. there. It's like, we're kind of, like Oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> like right over there. <laughs> All right.